So I've had a really varied experience with Bongo Hive. I started my business in 20, 2012, 2013, and I was this young entrepreneur trying to figure out things in Zambia, and my computer crashed. And I was told, go to Bongo Hive, and they'll sort it out. And I met one of the founders, Lukonga, and I was like, my computer's crashed, can you help me? And he was like, yeah, but this is not really what we do, but I'm happy to meet you, what do you do? And that became our, uh, the beginning of our story, actually. And it was, they were very interested in my own journey about how I uh, built my brand. Um, I run Java Foods and we, uh, we are the manufacturers of Zambia's leading instant noodle brand, Easy Noodles. And I remember that year, I actually went into Bongo Hive to speak to young entrepreneurs about the journey, about how we started the brand, about the thought process around starting Startups, around the disappointments, around the highs and the lows. And so Bongo Hive really gave me the platform to share my stories with young men and women here in Zambia about how to start a business. So our partnership has really evolved uh, from when I was starting in a small office to where we are now today where you're filming. And it's been a great partnership and we you know congratulations to Bongo Hive on this great uh, feat that they've reached. Partnerships, both local partnerships as well as international partnerships play a, a, a really important role because they bring a different perspective to your business. You change your path because something is actually going, you're, you're hitting against a wall and someone says, have you tried this or thought about this route or this strategy or this source of business or this source of revenue? And we can help you get there. So I think partnerships are really important and uh, we have seen this even with Bongo Hive, has how they have evolved through partnerships, right? So it has been really, uh, if I, I can't stress the importance of it, yeah. Bongo Hive has really used their, their resources, uh, their partnerships to support uh, entrepreneurs who are uh, rethinking business plans, uh, are trying to raise money, or, or even pitches. I mean, I actually have been uh, supported Bongo Hive by being a judge in some of their business plan pitches, which are, and you just see the, 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 the depth of, um, of uh, thoughts going through many young people, but the opportunity to be able to articulate your business plan through a very organized platform uh, to be, uh, to be really queried about can this work etc so I think um, it's been it's been great uh, and it's great that we have um, Bongo Hive doing this and of course what we need to do is now up the ante and see what more we can do I mean particularly because at a time when we need so much more we need m many more people to start up businesses we need startups to become growth businesses and we really need to change the environment of how we we, we, we grow this economy and we must be the ones to grow the economy. Congratulations again. I think uh, the next 10 years is going to be a really interesting time. Uh, we're seeing we have gone through our highs and lows as an economy and we're, we're really hopeful about what's going to the next few years is going to be and it means for many of our young people that they're going to be new ideas. There's so many things happening around digital today, right? And how you monetize digital. So it's not just about how having a YouTube channel, but for instance, how can you take part and participate and actually create a business around remittances coming from a boat, for example, right? And I think it's a great time if you're young, you're a risk taker, and just willing to learn about how to make digital work and really just change the landscape from Zambia. So it's gonna be a really interesting time. And you can see it around the world that everyone is talking about how are we moving to digital. How are you working from home using digital means? How are you having conducting meetings? What a great time to be alive. So I think Bongo Hive is going to evolve some more. It's going to help people rethink how they conduct business and how they monetize their business. And I think it's going to be exciting. We hope to see uh, many more uh, uh, entrepreneurs and a lot more women too taking the leap.